see the card? Right there. Yeah. So this is it. The screen is already covered. I don't think we're not ready to do the measurement right now, so we'll leave it covered for now. If I was interested in my starting point and ending point, right, this um, come see over here, see the target, this V notch, right? Mm -hmm. So that tells you where your starting point. So when you look through this at the V notch, just like you're aiming at something, you can see where the machine is going to start your scan. So it's got an open side, so you just yeah. point it. Yeah. This is a screen, Focus 3D. Right now it's initializing. Once it's done, I was hoping, you know, if it picks up on the Mac computer, I would show you on the big screen, you know, the, the start menu and everything. But we need a PC. Can we pick it up on off of that PC over there? Um, if it has a Wi-Fi connection, which I doubt. It's probably doubt it doesn't. Yeah. So, as you see right now, the screen is touch screen. Okay? So it has a touch screen. This one is for the SD card holder. SD card holder. Yeah. <laughs> this is the battery. It's the spare SD card. Battery. Spare battery. Yeah, spare battery. Let's, let's be professional and close that one. I know there's no dust in here, but waiting for scanner that. It's almost ready. Now you've got parameters, view scans, and manage. The parameters. Can you see? Okay. Operator is default, project data. Selected profile indoor with 10 meter altered. So somebody's already touched that one, changed a little bit. Eye safety, distance 3.4 uh, or 0 0.7 meters, 3.4 feet, right? So what you need to be doing, stay away from that machine. Now you, you click on that one again, it goes up. So every time you're trying to make a scan, you want to see what are the settings, pull it down. You could see if you're the right size project, right name, right profile you're using. And, and this one, you see the blue, red, and green dot, that means it's going to scan with colors. And then, thank you very much, we're up. So, again, parameters. Selected profile. So you can go through the selected profile, and here's the selected profile where you actually select if you're indoor 10 meters, indoors more than 10 meters, 20, outdoors 20 meters, outdoor 20 meters and more. And this is the preview. The preview is where the machine actually tells you what it's going to see, right? So you do a quick scan before. This is the arrow where you go down, and object um, high definition, OK? And if you want to see the parameters, this is the profile name. Resolutions is 176, which is 1 over 2. Scan points is going to get 20,622 by 8,534. So that is the image scan, right? The size of the image in pixels. Horizontal, vertical, because you can control every single time, you know, what the horizontal angle, what's the vertical angle. If you want your machine to scan 300 degrees vertical or 60 degrees, Doug asked me if we're interested to scan a bridge to monitor cracks. Obviously, all I have to scan is maybe 5 degrees, right, along a horizontal. So I don't, know, I don't want the machine to pick up all these points. Just these points right there. And that's why you can control the horizontal angle with this one. So you know what is the measurement. So it's going to give you a rough measurement. If you what don't is the horizontal. do those five degrees, will you get more accurate results if you only keep that little sector instead of doing 360? If you use the only five degrees, yeah. no, you're controlling the point cloud system you're collecting. Other so it's not more accurate then? No. It just won't take as much time. Yeah, I didn't have too much yeah. processing. No, stuff. If, yeah, okay. if I, I can go maybe one-on-one -on -one resolution mm -hmm. and five degrees, then it'll probably finish in five minutes. Five minutes okay. But if I put it one on one and 300 degrees and 360 all the way along, it's going to take you maybe 25 minutes. So it depends how much time you've got. The quality, usually you don't, they say don't mess with it. Just work with the resolution. The quality will adjust with it. If you adjust the quality, you're only increasing the volume of your file without really gathering much more points. Can we just scan the Ann and Johnson? Sign. Um, we could, uh, but I don't think we have enough time. Oh, I'll, I can do it some other time with you. Can you do a one? Oh, can you do a, a one sixteen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'll, we'll I'll, I've got the three yeah. spheres here, so yeah. we'll just need to pick up a little bit bigger than yeah. the sign. We'll see what it looks Anyways, like. Anyways, so you can select the profile for the setting right there. Um, let's do these um, indoor 
10 meters, less than 10 meters, and go back to the scan parameters. Resolution quality. This one has a resolution quality of 1 eighth. So that, that should be pretty fairly accurate. And it tell you what's approximately duration for the scan is 2 minutes 50 seconds. So if I go to 1 over 16, 231, 1 uh, sixteenth is 2, ten, 2 minutes 10 seconds. So it's not really that much difference. Uh, it's up to you guys. One over ten, you do. But notice the quality is at the bottom, the mm -hmm. three. So we're not worried too much about the quality. Horizontal and vertical. This is where you control your angles. Okay. This somebody already did the scan, I think, in this room, yeah. and you yeah. can yeah. see the 360 degrees. Look at the image, how it is. It's kind of distorted because it's folded in like wings, mm -hmm. right? So that's how it shows you. The vertical area is minus 60 to 90. So it's going from the ground right now up to the sky, and that's how it goes. And then the horizontal is going 360 degrees. So if I wanted to do the scan that image you were talking about, then I need to be, let's set it up to zero right here and see how it's going to go. So this is my zero right there, right? This is zero. This is the machine right there. And I need, obviously, to go till this end. So I'm looking at maybe 45 degrees okay. horizontal. So what I'll do here, I'll just go to the horizontal area, and I'll say I want 0 to 360 degrees. So we're going to go there. Horizontal from 0, OK. Uh, click to many times. 0, OK. And 2. Instead, we're going to put 45 degrees. That's it, OK. All right. This is the scan parameters. Now it's 0 to 45 degrees. How do we do it? How do you set the vertical? <laughs> right now, it's going from the ground to 90. You can do a preview, or you could just um, obviously limit that. Uh, we can go probably from 0 to Oh, uh, zero would 35. be dead level? Yeah. So, so we this is minus 60. Minus 60 is on the ground. So okay. you go 60 degrees and then 90. Okay. Sounds right? good. So that sounds good. we can go yeah. from zero or whatever. I mean, uh, vertical, let, let's do the vertical again. So the vertical we can go and uh, we can say, look, it shows you where it's going to be starting. Notice on the image, kind of yeah. roughly that yellow thing. So minus 17 is fine. And that probably ought to do it to 35. Right. And it shows you that yellow thing. You got to look close to yep. see that. Yes. Okay. So now back there, it's so now 0 to 45 minus 17, 35. Select sensors. If you want to go check, at the, use the incrometer, use the compass, use the altimeter. Both are used. Yep. So it's perfect. This machine is good for that. Um, distance for the eye safety. Bottom line, back to home. View scans, or you know, we can do a, a quick now you can go to manage where you're going to set your project, the profile, the operators, the general yeah. settings, etc. Et Each one of those, I mean, we spent three days there. There was a reason for that. But um, let's go and, and do a start scan just quickly so you can see how this is So that's it. It'll start scanning in one second. And it's going to take 50 seconds. <coughs> how this uh, mirror is moving, how fast it is. How in the world does it do what it does? Now, folks have been telling me they've been using oh, this zero. scanner to scan trees, <laughs> to scan um, basically anything you can imagine. Some people are taking it uh, to forests, trying to document forests, vegetations, uh, trying to capture a certain tree. But it's done. So um, now it's going to turn around and snap pictures. Because we set colors, I believe. So it's going to take some pictures to overlay on top of it. <coughs> and um, they've been telling us that some.